Hello everybody, it's John from Hillbilly Wine 101 and today, well first I'd like to wish everybody a happy Easter and I'm doing a special Easter uh, version today. So, what I have here, Claude de Bois wines and I have the 2014 Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm going to do this a little different than we usually do it. I got the 2014 Merlot, 2015 um, Pinot Noir. All right. Uh, I've been to this winery, and I've been to a lot of wineries in California. It's one of the hobbies that I have. It's a good hobby to have in it. Uh, the glass for this company, this winery, is probably in my attic because I have so many glasses. I can only keep so many out. Uh, I picked a Rutherford um, Rutherford Hill glass. I have a uh, cake bread cellars and a uh, Heights. Uh, two unbelievable cabs, but. I don't have those cabs in here today. Uh, today I have these. So the first one, uh, let's smell the Cabernet. Uh, Cabernet probably, almost definitely, has a blend and I guarantee it has Merlot in it. Um, let's, uh, these, this, the age on these wines, I'd say probably these wines are good for five to seven years before they start losing uh, a lot of their flavors and things. Now these these two here are what three years old. This one's two years old, so they should be pretty fruit forward. Um, yeah, uh, and I'd say probably at this age, probably another year to mellow, and then after that maybe lose some flavors. They're probably going to be a little fruit forward, but I think they're also very close to their peak. These wines weren't made to last a hundred years. Um, the value on them is great. I think they were. Uh, $10 and I got them for $9 and uh, they were on sale for and I saved a little more because I bought six uh, so uh, eight something per bottle mmm okay cab mmm that's right a lot of fruit um, Smell a little bit of oak. It tells me it probably wouldn't age all that great. There's not a lot of oak in there, which is fine. There's enough. And every get oak, you get a little vanilla, and I smell vanilla. I smell the oak. Hmm. And I smell like um, blackberries, dark berries, kind of like a dark berry uh, mix. If you had a bowl of dark berries, you opened up and you, and you sniffed it. A little bit of cinnamon, seems like. A little bit of spice. I think I smell cinnamon in there. Very pleasant, very subtle. Let me give it a taste. Alright. A little more of the wood, but not, not overpowering, not bad. Just more than what I smelled. Um, which tells me... And then probably get a good five, seven years out of it. Absolutely smell the, uh, excuse me, taste the berries, taste the vanilla, not a bad aftertaste, a um, little woody aftertaste, of course I like to smell fresh cut, especially oak, uh, and that's, you know, you get that in here, mmm, it's very good. I'd say an excellent, um, excellent marriage of fruit, um, oak, vanilla, and a little bit of spice. It's not a, a overpowering wine. I, any wine you can drink by itself. But some are uh, wines generally made for food. I would say this would go with a lighter food. I'd say this would go with the white, you know, chicken or pork. You can have it with a steak. I don't, uh, steak with a heavy sauce or onions or um, smoked and meat. I, I, you might lose some of this. I think it'd be good with the soft cheeses. Um, anyway, it's good. Uh, let me try the Merlot. Generally, a uh, blending wine uh, or a grape. A lot of people like it by itself. Nothing wrong. It's an excellent, excellent wine. Uh, excellent grape. Uh, I got a 
they, they had the movie out sideways. The guy made fun of Merlot, okay? It's a movie, folks. All right? It's stupid. If you like Merlot, that's good. You're in the company of a lot of people. So, let's see. Same company, same year. Hmm. Surprisingly, let me see. Okay. Surprisingly, I smell more oak than the than the cab. Hmm. But in a good way. Um, pleasant, pleasant smell because you get that vanilla, you get that hint of vanilla. Still getting the, uh, still getting the fruit. Probably the same, kind of the same fruits, the dark berries. Uh, maybe a little blueberry, blackberry, raspberry. These are good wines, man. And again, I'd say an excellent blend in the nose of the fruit and the oak. It's not real fruity up front, it's not real oaky up front. I can smell it, I can smell it, but, but it's almost like a perfect... Uh, I won't say I get the cinnamon, but I don't get the cinnamon, but the other flavors are a little more intense. It's kind of odd. I don't know what one. They're different, and they're both good. Okay. A little more uh, tannin. Um, which is the flavor that when you drink uh, tea, say unsweetened tea, get that little bitterness. It's not bad. It, it adds to it because it's not real strong. It's just something that's in there. After you drink it, you can feel that um, that tannin, which I like the taste in a red wine. I like that a little bit. And then it does help it age a little bit, that tannin. Of course, you're going to get tannin. Tannin comes from the wood. So I taste the wood, but I taste the vanilla. The wood doesn't overpower the vanilla. Vanilla is a very good taste. Um, and I still taste the fruit. It, again, a good marriage. This wine usually is used to mellow out Cabernet as a blend. I feel it's, I feel it's a little stronger. Um, I would pair it with the same food, and I could drink it by itself all day long. And it's actually, if you gave me a blind taste testing, I would say that this was the Cabernet and this was the Merlot. I'd have been wrong. Far, by far, I don't know by far. All right, let's just say I got carried away. <laughs> it's the best. It's the best smell. Um, this was good. This was good. This smells better. Usually, this is very mild. Usually, this is the kick-ass, the Cabernet. Uh, this was actually stronger than Merlot. Sometimes Merlot can be kick-ass, right? You know. Uh, these are usually mild, you know. To, uh, but now, in this case, it smells a little more robust. You know what's odd about this? I smell black cherries. Um, I smell the oak. I smell the, I smell the vanilla. I smell berries. And I smell over, not overpowering, but coming through black cherry. Uh, hmm. You know what? I didn't look at the. the color all looks to be. About the same. Not real dark. Medium. All three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I taste the oak. I taste vanilla. I taste the cherry. I taste the berries. I don't taste. Let me, let me make sure. Hmm. A little bit of black pepper. Yeah, a little bit of black pepper. Okay. Black cherry, black pepper, berries, oak, vanilla. A little bit. Uh, not much on the uh, astringency here.
my favorite. Uh, it's got the most going on, I thought. You would all be different, okay? This is good. This is good. This is good. I thought it tasted the best. I would. I'll drink all of them. Folks, it's, it's Easter. So about half an hour ago, I cut the ears off these poor little bunnies, and I filled them with wine. Because these wines go well with chocolate. Generally dark chocolate, which is a little more bitter, uh, a little less sweet. But we're going to try it with milk chocolate. So here's the cap. And you heard what I said about them by themselves. Now we'll try it in chocolate. I don't know if the chocolate's going to overpower it. I don't know if all of them taste the chocolate, you know, but we'll see. Chocolate is melty a little bit. It's getting on my fingers. Okay. Folks, it's wine that smells like chocolate. It smells damn good. Mm. I taste oak. I taste chocolate. I taste berries. That's good. It's really good. We try the Merlot. Okay, I smell chocolate, I smell wine. Don't know, I can pick out a whole lot of stuff, you know, through the chocolate, but I mean, yeah, if you smell this, you, you say it smells like wine and chocolate. It means it smells good. So, taste it. Tastes a little more of the wine. And this I uh, tastes a little more of chocolate. This I uh, the wine comes through a little more. What I mean by that, the astringency, the oak. Remember what I said about them when I was tasting them. If this is matching. It is. If it is. You know, food does change things. Um, probably because it tastes more like wine. I mean, this tastes like wine, but this not more the wine flavors. So I like this better in the chocolate. Same bunny. All right. This smells like a chocolate covered cherry. It's exact. It smells like chocolate covered cherry. It's unbelievable. Where the hell the cherry came from? Wow. Let's see what it tastes like. If you like chocolate covered cherries, you'll like this. You'll at least like the smell. Somehow, the chocolate brought out the cherry in a big way. To the point, it's almost too sweet for me. It's tasty. I can drink it and I like it. I'd say of the ones mixed with chocolate, I like the Merlot. It tastes the most like wine. If you're not a big well, if you're not a big wine person, or you don't like the big heavy reds, these are all good anyway. And they're all going to taste different, and they're all going to be good. These are not heavy ones. I suggest you try all these. If you if you like sweeter, and you're going to mix it somehow with a chocolate bunny, I guess use this one. Um, because uh, Pinot Noir uh, tastes like a chocolate cordial. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Um, Please subscribe, uh, check out our other videos, and most importantly, have a wonderful Easter.